Short work week. It's Wednesday, the 6th of July. The Buckmaster Show comes to you on AM 1030 KVOI, Tucson's Voice. We live stream our show for anywhere in the world, listening at buckmastershow.com and kvoi.com. And our live line number is open for you, 790-2040, if you'd like to join and enhance our conversation with the monthly showdown. The showdown features two gentlemen, as I like to say, who rarely agree on anything, but they agree that um, they like to come on this program and uh, they like to talk about their particular issues, which is good. Uh, seated to the right of me, Mr. Sean McCluskey weighing in. At, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Heavyweight. They, let me check those gloves there, Sean. Make sure there's uh, nothing there, um, you know. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Sean has been a dedicated Tea Party uh, backer and Republican Party activist for a long time, and seated to the left of me, David Morales, creator of the Three Sonorans blog site, which celebrated its five-year anniversary? Uh, Sixth-year six anniversary. Six year. Gentlemen, how are you? Doing very well, thank you. David, you've been all over the place on Facebook saying that uh, Prop 123, people had voted for it. Uh, hey, big mistake. Yeah, I mean, one thing I like about this is I'm a numbers guy. I teach mathematics in, at the college, and so give me numbers, give me budget books, give me everything, and, and I'm happy. So if you go to, um, um, you know, threesonorans.com, and, um, you know, you can see, and actually, uh, you know, it's been shared. It's been going viral, like uh, two, uh, TUSD f um, for Kids has, has been reposting a lot of the stuff lately. So basically, this is the interesting thing. We'll just get right to it, is... Um, People like Sean are in a dilemma right now because Sean Not likes <laughs> no. Well, Sean Sean is like Sean likes two different Republicans. He likes Doug Ducey and he likes Michael Hicks, right? And uh, very loyal to to Doug Ducey. Will always support him no matter what he does, even on Prop One One Two Three, which is horrible. But Prop One Two Three was a solution to Three Hundred One in some sense, right? And Prop Three Hundred One had had provisions in there that saying that said it had to go to teacher salaries. Okay, that has specific allocations. Absolutely correct. So now this new one two three has none of that. In there. has local control. It's it a phrase y'all don't like. Give the districts there. It gives your elected board members the opportunity to do the right thing. Okay, and your board member, your board members here in TUSD failed miserably. Okay, and local control was also the local the local TUSD board also supported Mexican American studies, but that didn't matter to the state. Okay, so that's a moot point. But no, it's dealing with your finances. But, but here's the thing: you don't tr you always go on the radio. I always hear you in the morning shows when you're covering for them. You always and on this show you always bash HT Sanchez. You say stop giving them more money. Stop. stop Give him more money. How much does he make? What did you do? You gave him more money with Pro Prop One, no, Two, no, no, Three, no, 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 with no, no restrictions attached. Cam they Morris, spent, wait, 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 Adelina wait, 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 and, they and Crystal Fo Foster. You gave, gave HT more okay. money. Yes, and you gave them more money, and they spent less than thirty percent of that money on teachers. Here, let me let me break this down yeah. for you. Is that real, a fact? Real quick, real quick. Let, yes. let Sean have you the floor. You had two hundred and twenty-four million dollars distributed at the end of the fiscal year. One hundred and seventy-two million came directly from the state land trust, and fifty-two new million dollars, fifty-two million dollars that were brand new funds came in. Okay, without Prop One Two Three, you would have only have received about forty-seven million dollars in both fiscal years sixteen and seventeen. Why? Because, because the 301 this, exactly. funds got raided by the now, Republicans. Now, let's go to school districts that did the right thing. School districts that did the wrong thing, we just heard what TUSD did. TUSD failed you by Cam Juarez, Crystal Foster, Who did the and right, Adelie, which Adelie de Grijalva. The right. They all voted to give, to, to basically pill for the funds from Prop 301, which allocated money to go directly to the teachers, and they said, we're going to give that money to the teachers and nothing from Prop 123. And 1, you 2, knew 3. they would do that. Hold and on. You, you gave Hold them that on. money. Hold on. Now watch this. Okay. Other districts still receive the 301 money. Yes. They also receive the 123 money. Now, Scottsdale, SUSD, directs Prop 123 dollars towards the teachers. FUSD approves budget what with percentage? Prop 123 funds going towards the teachers. What percentage? Prop 123 funds brings financial relief to the Sierra Vista schools. Coolidge, Prop 123 brings You're more money to the, the schools, question. to the teachers. Hold on. Um, what percentage? Hold on. Student increase raises uh, go again in Wilcox. The Tango Verde School Districts, you had, I'm um, sorry, the Mingus School Board did a special meeting on Monday. They allocated all the money to go to the teachers. No, they didn't. What Excuse percentage me, yes, of they these did. districts? The only one that did not 
not do this, even though Gallus approved to give the teachers more money. The only one TUSD approved to give the teachers more no. money too. No, yes, no, 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 not from one to three. Thirty percent of the yeah. TUSD what you're saying money applies is going to yeah. teachers. What but you're other school to districts gave all of their money. No, they didn't. To the teachers. No, they didn't. I'll bet you on that. They didn't. What I'm telling you is all their teacher raises came directly from Prop 123 yes, money to the TUSD teachers. and TUSD gave a, a raise and what did also. I say on when I either was on this show or if I co-host for the guys on Wake Up in the Morning or if it was on Talk of the Town, I said from the very beginning, this is a bad idea to give the money to TUSD because you have a bunch of buffoons running the district rampant. You have two votes that are responsible. And yet you voted to give them more money. Absolutely, because it's the greater good for all the you students in the yourself. entire state. It's the greater good. Now, I can have an uneducated workforce or I can have an educated workforce. I chose to educate the children and give more money to the teachers and hope to God that local control would take take precedent and set the right path. Here in TUSD, they failed. So what's the next step? The next step is to vote them out in November. That's well, the only way you can fix it. David, because they keep giving money to HTC. David, Sanchez. there was nothing in 123 that said all of the money had to go to teachers. Exactly. And that's how it was sold. It was sold as 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 such. And none of those districts that you mentioned gave all their money. They gave like 4% raises to the teachers. They all the money, money came from one, two, three. Yes, but they didn't spend all their money oh, on no, teachers. Oh, no, of course not. Because you have different school districts that, like Flagstaff, they needed new tires for their school buses because they have winter roads. It was, te- it, it was, money, was, rent, it was money rent for teacher raises, wasn't some it? Of the, not all of well, it. It was meant that's to, what, it was that's meant what to the children. It was sold that way, yes. but there's nothing in it that says 100%. Of the one twenty three money, had and nobody to go ever to expected teachers. that. So, so that's why you you heard the Arizona Treasurer Jeff Dewitt going off on the radio because yeah, he didn't like the process. He didn't like taking he, it from the land. But trust. See, here's the thing: he he was basically he was saying, "Don't vote for Proposition one two three because they're going to do this." And then what did you do? You said, "I'm going to vote for it because." Maybe they won't do that. And no, they I did said exactly they do it in TUSD. But now other dis- different school districts, like look at Morano, look at Vale. How much? At, what percent? It doesn't matter. It does did, matter. Did they, did they improve the did teacher's TUSD? salaries? Did TUSD improve the teacher's salaries? Pathetically, yes. So All right, let's go to the live line. Matthew sense, has been calling and waiting for us at 790-2040. Hey, Matthew. Hi. Um, I, I don't understand exactly what they're arguing about. Uh, they're arguing about reality. Uh so, uh, David, you seem to be upset um, that one, two, three passed. Get over it. It's over. Well, okay. If there's a war I don't agree with, I don't just say, well, the war is reality. Get over it. It's been declared. No, you can still be opposed to something. You can still try to make change, can't you? Well, and, You know, uh, you can move on and fight the next fight. Yeah, and the next and, fight and, is and that, so that money has been given. So David, why not David, give it to teachers? One, one, two, three, pass. Yes, my what's argument is that Tell that money can go to the teachers. Next fight is. But what's if, the next fight? The David? the fight is to use that money to go to teachers. Well, then say that. I did okay. say that. Now, now look at three some noise. I've been if, saying that all week long. Correct, why don't you just agree with Sean and vote the board out? Right now, they're voting to spend Why that are money. Why you arguing about one, two, three? I'm, I'm arguing about the spending of that money. I disagree with your next battle that you say all the money should go to the teachers. Right now, we have an indiscriminate amount of money going to teachers. It, it just simply... What does uh, that mean, indiscriminate amount? What do you mean by that? It, because, because we know exactly we how much flo- it's doing. Because we just flooded the state of Arizona with one, two, three money. So... You that know, money was right was, was now, robbed from three hundred one. We have less money. We have districts fighting with with each other, trying to outpay each other with regards to math and science and all the rest of it. So we have a small problem with regards to that. That that the that we did flood the system with a lot of money. And yes, there's going to be uh, 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 teachers moving around because they think they can get more money here. They just like it's happened with police in the past. Okay. The best thing we can do is the school districts not to get into a war of money on salaries, but to focus on building conditions that that, that encourage teachers that want to be part of <laughs> All right. certain We're, districts. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Matthew. And it is time to move on. Next topic coming up about this worker ID, photo ID. Southside Worker Center is issuing photo IDs to day laborers. For five dollar fee, is it a good thing? I don't think Sean is going to think it's a good thing, uh, but David probably will. Uh, it's the showdown. We'll be right back. <laughs> 